Hello everybody and welcome back to the much delayed, very scuffed Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play <laughs> that I have here. <laughs> uh, it has been almost two months since I've opened this game. It's been a couple weeks since I've even posted. Uh, but yeah, I got, I'm back from Italy. Uh, I then, I got back. I stayed with my family for a few more days. Uh, and I went to my sister's place where I usually stay when I'm not in the field and disassociated straight up for like four days. Um, just mindlessly stared at, well, stared at the ceiling listening to the same four songs over and over and just like, you know, very normal, very normal behavior. And then I also watched a bunch of Chinese dramas and that was it. That's all I did. Um, and then I went back to work because, you know, I needed to kick in the pants to get back on track for living um, and and then I came back to my sisters for the 4th of July holiday because uh, I didn't want to have to deal with the crowds of psychos out there trying to burn down the forest with fireworks um, and yeah I've actually been kind of nervous to start playing again because I know nothing I am head empty very tiny baby. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I did read all of these, you know, just like at least like the, the most recent ones, like the highlighted ones. So, uh, quick summary, maybe. We do have to, we saw that big old brain that's being controlled. We have one Netherese stone. We got to get two more. Uh, it's being controlled by Netherese crown, which is what Gail is interested in and wants to find a book called Sorcerer's Sundries, which definitely sounds like a place where you go to get lingerie. Um, and so we have to get, we need to get Gortash, who is associated with, um, our lover. <laughs> Why did I just, I was like, I totally blanked. Karlak. Uh, see, this is bad. I can't even remember Karlak's name for a brief second. You know, you know things are bad, uh, when that's the case. Also, just for the record, I've been sort of diving into the Dragon Age news and, like, we could go into that, but, like, I, I am not a person to be like, let me make a news video. I don't do that. But, like, can we just talk super fast? Let me just let me just go off on a tangent really fast and say that initial trailer was actually terrifying with, like, how... And I say this as somebody with over a thousand hours in Overwatch. It looked very Overwatchy. I was very upset with that. It was very... Uh, the art direction was, like... So, ooh, suicide Squad, like Guardians of the Galaxy, like, whoa, like over the top quirky, and just, and the, the characters looked weird and blocky and like cell shaded. And I was like, listen, that's a fine art style for like, I don't, what reminded me of what was it? Borderlands. Kind of reminded me of Borderlands, right? Yeah, Borderlands. That's that, that's that like sort of cell shaded video game that was like a shooter game, shooter looter, very popular. Um, and I was like, Excuse me, I was in Florence watching it at a restaurant, and I didn't know that at the time, because all I saw was that it had a bunch of meat on the menu, and I was like, praise, because freaking Italians only eat carbs and air, and I was like, I need protein, I'm a red-blooded American, and I didn't realize that until about a week into eating carbs. <laughs> I was like, I need meat. So the restaurant had a bunch of meat. Anyway, the, t the name where I was watching live the um, trailer drop was... Um, Oh no, never mind. Sorry, that was actually the gameplay trailer, which was better. But it was Auditore. Here's the, it was Auditore, aka Ezio Auditore, because I figured that out when I went into Pay, and they had a big poster of Ezio Auditore, which I obviously took a picture next to. Um, and then, and my sister was like, "Yeah, the restaurant's name is Auditore," and I was like, "You're joking!" And I was like, "Oh my gosh." And it was just kind of a funny coincidence that I was at a video game themed restaurant, sort of. Like, it was a super fancy restaurant, right? It was one of the most expensive meals I had. And, like, it, but it was super delicious. But, like, I just didn't realize. Anyway, it was just kind of funny the way it, the way it worked out. Um, that was the gameplay trailer, which was not that bad. The initial drop trailer, um, which I think was, I was still actually in Florence for. Or maybe I was in Rome. I don't know. Um terrified me and I was like why does everybody look weird and why does Barrick sound weird and like oh. I was like and then my biggest thing was that they made the veil jumper which if you guys have seen like the, the factions right there's factions 
uh, which I love. It's not like Origins, right, which is fine. I don't mind if we don't do origin stories, but it does sort of change your background a bit, and I like that they're kind of doing origin-esque origin stories, but it's basically through a faction thing, which I loved factions in, uh, was it, not Bioshock, <laughs> Bioshock New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas. Um, I liked those a lot, uh, and so it, it just depends kind of on how they're done, but I'm interested, obviously, in the Veil Jumpers, right? They're working in that eastern forest, right? Um, Ar not Arlothan, is it Arlothan, Arlothan Forest? Yeah. Um, which is technically, canonically, where your warden has gone from Origins, from Dragon Age Origins. Um, I think it was canon at one point that most wardens had gone out there to try to find a cure for the Blight. Which would be an interesting tie-in because the wardens are featuring again in Veilguard. Let's also talk about the Veilguard name change. I don't like it. I th I'm sure you all know that because I'm a big fan of the Dreadwolf himself. And they're like, we wanted to make it more about the player and what their team is instead of the big bad. And I was like, if you try to downplay Solus as the big bad, I'm gonna lose it, you know? And also we had the excellent acronym of DAD, you know? Like, come on. And it changes so late in the game, I was like, really? Re you couldn't have come up with this like five years ago. Like, I don't know. I was pretty sure they were already selling Dragon Age Dreadwolf merch at this point, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, I like. I thought Dreadwolf was cooler. The Veil Guard sounds like a cool name for your squad, right? Like, I'm down with the name in general. Like, as a, as a name for, like, the Inquisition, you know? Or the Veil Guard. Like, it sounds cool. Um, but for the name change, I'm less happy. Um, anyway, I was terrified after the initial trailer where they, they made the Veil Jumper look like every single quirky magic pixie dream girl whatever cliche in about two seconds of seeing her she's like Wah! and i was like i'm gonna lose it like i immediately disliked her right out the gate and i was like that's not fair you know and i think she's a she here but like i didn't like him <laughs> and i was like oh. <laughs> But then the gameplay trailer trailer dropped, right? And we had, I heard, there was a bunch, you know, all the rumors going around. My Discord was, like, keeping up with things pretty well and, like, dropping all the tea and stuff. Um, and I'm not on Twitter anymore, so um, I had friends on Twitter who were keeping me abreast of things. But apparently they had some QA people saying that's not what the game looks like. And I was like, it darn well better not look like that. Um, and the gameplay, the gameplay trailer, the 15-minute one, looked a lot better. Um... Like, I, we've already speculated on what was coming out of the rift, or the, whatever, the veil, the break in the veil there at the end. Like, hmm, hmm. Also, it was weird. Also, it's just, uh, the whole setup, can I, I'm going to get spoilery for a tiny, tiny bit, but, like, the fact that all it took was, like, three level one scrubs, it's been, it's been ten years since the end of Inquisition, right? And it just took the the grand plan of the Inquisition that is a supposed in some way still operating, whether you're working for the divine or for yourselves, the Inquisition is still operating, right? And after ten years, what their plan amounts to is having Varric go talk to Solus when his lover couldn't even dissuade him, in my case, right? His lover couldn't even dissuade him. They're gonna send Varric up to be like, yo, Solus, could you actually change your mind, bro? I know you've been doing this for like 10 years, bro, but like, it'd be chill if you just like didn't, you know? And I'm like, that's, that was the, and then three level one scrubs just running around and knocking a pillar into the ritual. And it's like, I saw these funny memes about like, it must suck to be Solus, right? Where like all your plans are like always like ruined by like some scrub just like being in the wrong place at the wrong time, <laughs> you know? It's like, he's like a god, and he keeps getting, like, keeps getting ants thrown at him, who, like, are like, blah, 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 they get in his eye, and he's like, ah, and then, like, things go terribly wrong. Anyway, give my man a break, you know what I'm saying? But, like, <laughs> I just was like, that's, and to be fair, they edited out some stuff, I know they did, but, like, please? <laughs> Can we make him intimidating? And I already know, I, I knew for sure, and again, spoilery-ish things. There's two, I think at least two gods, two elven gods coming out of the break in the veil, right? I knew instantly the one of them was Elgar, not Elgar, sorry, that was the other, uh, Gilena, right? 
because she's actually she features in two really spooky stories in the Tempest Nights series of short stories uh, that Bioware published like what I don't know five years ago six years ago at this point that are really good and I highly recommend you read them they're written by the actual like writers on the dev team um, and two of them feature Gillanon as like and that's why I think we're gonna get like the Lovecraftian thing that you kind of saw in the initial trailer that I want to burn from my brain but like with the Veil Jumper girl and she's like Bleh! and she gets pulled back in by uh, the tentacles right and I'm like Lovecraft like like cosmic horror in my in my Dragon Age like I don't mind if I do I love cosmic horror you know um, Especially if Gilanon's involved, she does some whack things with, like, body modifications, apparently. Like, just, like, creating monsters and creatures in general, which I think we're gonna get more on the Kunari with that. Um, but, regardless, the other one's apparently, El as people think he's, it's Elgar Man. I don't know for sure, but the one with, like, the horns definitely looks like Gilanon, and I'm 100%. Although I think it was actually confirmed that it was Elgar Man and Gilanon in some sort of press release. Anyway, I am not going in blind into this game. I have been in a desert for 10 years of d the Dragon Age desert trying to thrive off of sucking on little stones to get water, you know, or to, to create essentially water. Like, I've been going off of nothing except for like tiny crumbs that they've thrown us for 10 years, right? I will be going in eyes wide open, balls to the wall. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna read everything and get my grubby little hands on, you know? Um, and I am hopeful. I'm, what this all boils down to is the gameplay trailer did look better. They cut out some stuff so that they wouldn't be too spoilery. Um, so I understand that. Like, we didn't get, like, the full intro to the game. Um, but, and, and it looked better. It looked better. Um, but I'm still not the biggest fan of the art style. And I'm getting, I, I periodically fluctuate between getting really, really nervous about the game and then just like full on, like, I have to, I have to believe, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm torn. I'm torn, I guess, on that news. Um, but c cautiously, what is the word? Um, oh, my friend described it in a way where it was like, like, I guess it was, like, cautiously optimistic, and now it's, like, skittishly optimistic is kind of the the vibe or something, where it's, like, you know, <laughs> so hope, skittishly hopeful, um, really just putting out the prayer circles and candles and blood magic rituals and whatever else I need. I know it's too late. I've been putting those out for years, and I just have to hope that they freaking, that it works, that it worked. <laughs> but... Regardless, I will be playing it immediately as soon as I get my grubby little hands on it. I might even take a monitoring job instead of doing the regular fieldwork job so that I can have time in the evenings every night to play the video game. Or just take a whole week off. I, I legitimately might just take a whole week off if I have to, if it, if it falls during an on session. Um, because... That game's gonna, I, regardless of if me finishing Baldur's Gate 3 or not, I will drop everything like a hot potato and just like, pfft, I dive totally straight headfirst in to Dragon Age. Not necessarily, like, I am excited for the continuation of one of my favorite game series of all time, right? But I'm also like, I gotta know. I gotta know what they've done. And if it's good or bad or great or just mediocre, I gotta know. And I gotta get it all done in one fell swoop. <laughs> oh my gosh. This was super long. I'm definitely putting timestamps in on this. <laughs> but thank you all for listening. If those of you who did listen to the rant, you you get, you understand. Baldur's Gate, I got teased the other day by my friends. They're like, you're just going to drop Baldur's Gate 3 if you don't finish it before Veilguard comes out. I'm like, listen, you don't understand. <laughs> Like, obviously you don't understand. I've been waiting 10 years for this. And I'm very anxious. I'm not even just excited. I'm anxious. So, like, I have to know. Um... And Baldur's Gate New, my my intro title for my first video is Dreadwolf Waiting Game, which now maybe I should go back and be like Asterix Veilguard Waiting Game. Freaking look at what they've done. They've ruined... I've, I've probably put Dreadwolf in several videos at this point. It's just going to be like, if you know, you know, I guess, that, Dr that Veilguard used to be called Dreadwolf. <sighs> what was it, too? Uh, Dragon Age 2 was actually supposed to be called was it? It was a good name, too, I remember. But they only released it after the game came out, because it was it just released too fast. I think it started with an A? Exodus. 
not an A, E, Exodus, which is a good one. Dragon Age Exodus, and it fits very well with like what was going on in the game. Like you didn't, you, an Exodus to, to Kirkwall, you know? Um, anyway, that's enough Dragon Age shenanigans in my Baldur's Gate 3 video, but Baldur's Gate knew she was a placeholder for Dragon Age, Dreadwolf slash Veilguard, and she's been great, and I'm hoping I can finish it. I'm gonna try to be playing in my car, honestly. Like, when I'm, like, working and in my, like, free off time. I'm currently at my sister's, like I said, but, um, still, like, it, I'm, after this, I'm gonna be, like, a month not coming back. Uh, so I'll be playing out of my car whenever I can and trying to hide from the heat wave that is just consistently across the planet at this point during July and August. So, yay! <laughs> when I'm gonna be working in Arizona. Whoa! Um, anyway. I already quickly did a uh, elder brain thing. Gortash is related to freaking Carlag. We have to get Orin, who's that spooky, creepy lady. Um, the Ballist. Uh, we gotta get our allies. Uh, we gotta figure out what to do with Orpheus still, apparently. Also, side note, you can you know how you can totally romance your the person in your brain, the Emperor who turns out is is the Mind Flayer. Um, I gotta believe. I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but I gotta believe that like, cause there's really been no option I think for romancing them yet. So like, do you get the option to just like romance the Mind Flayer? Because I know you get to apparently like at least sleep with them or something. And I'm like. Girl, Larian, like Larian, what? You guys, bold, brave, love it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, thank you for finally giving all the freaks, aka me, what we wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, to be fair, this character would not romance a mind flayer, so I'm just gonna have to be sad off in the corner and wait for one of the games I play with my friends where I can just <laughs> romance the mind <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Larian, I owe you my life. Um, I don't want to do this. It's part of a personal quest. I don't want to further my transformation, my illithid transformation. Like, I know I'm an Oathbreaker Paladin, but I, I don't want to do this. So I'm not going to kiss Frog Voss. I'm like, oh shoot. And like, Lazelle's gonna want me to do that. Also, I had to remember on the loading screen when I first opened up the game, it had a picture of Shadowheart. And I was like, ah, I killed, I killed her. And I had to remember that. So that was cool. And then I remembered that I killed off the other character that wasn't even a companion yet, but could have been. So that's cool. Had to remember that. Grand Duke has an illithid tadpole. We got to give the spirit of the amulet back. And we are in Worms Crossing, so that that can be here. This is something we have to do immediately, or at least very quickly, um, for my own mental stability. The the dangerous toys that are like in the refugee toys, or the dangerous weapons in the refugee toys. Because um, we had that whole thing that I did a tiny rant on, right? Tiny rant, it was like two videos. Um, of like the Dagnab, like refugee policies and stuff, and the, you know, Brexit mentality going on in Baldur's Gate, so I gotta mess with some politics again. We gotta find Mole. Night Song's chilling with us. So one of the things was, oh, for freaking, Aster I remembered everybody's names until I read this, and I'm like, the Pale Elf, and I'm like, wait, no. Uh, Asterion uh, wants us to find his cousins, brothers, sisters, other spawn. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to not let Asterion murder them, uh, because that's not nice. Um, but may, at this point, I'm like, you know what? If I lose all my companions, I guess we just ballin'. You know what I mean? Ugh! Um, <laughs> and freaking, we have to wait for Missouri. So we did kind of get Gale or not Gale? Freaking, I did. That's what I did even before all this worm and Gale. Worm, like this. See, I looked over here and read worm. Will and Gale always getting them mixed up. Anyway, Will. Um. It's to be free in six months, but Missouri still has her claws in him. Uh, she wants us to help with Orpheus. And I'm like, <laughs> and we have to do the lingerie store. It's not actually a lingerie store for Gail. Um, anyway, I'm scared. I'm scared and nervous about the game because, I don't know, one of my friends was being a little, a little rough the other day, was being a little mean. <laughs> And was like, you don't know anything. You haven't, like, oh, I'm just giving you, like, Act 1 spoilers because you think everybody's so happy-go-lucky in freaking Baldur's Gate 3. And, like, I don't know, something like that. And I was like, listen, I know there's bombs about to be dropping. Like, 
Act two was rough, and I know Act three only gets worse. Like we're we're building up to some of these characters, like issues, like big issues, you know. Um, so like I don't know. I was like, why are you being mean to me about that? Like it's taking me a while to play the game, and like specifically, they were like he was like going a little too far in teasing me about how much I love Dragon Age, and I was, like acting like I was dissing Baldur's Gate because I love Dragon Age so much, and I was like. I never I actually said that Baldur's Gate 3 is probably technically the better game, like t like in a technical sense. It's like, the like combat wise, you know, graphics wise, like just like technical in general, you know. Um, but like that doesn't change the fact that like, I have like 10 plus years of like 12 years at this point, loving this game series and like having so many friends and like I don't know all this stuff. But I was just like. Like he, he, I don't know. It made it seem like I was an idiot. Like, oh, you haven't even, you haven't even, you haven't even played Baldur's Gate three. And I'm looking at my 238 hours in the game, and I was like, no, you're right. I, I totally haven't. What the frick is wrong with you? You know, reminding me of when I was like in college, and someone, I, I like, think I mentioned that I never really finished a video game because like I never really had. Like, I, I can't even, I couldn't think of one that I had finished at the time. And he's like, oh, so you're not a real gamer? And I was like, who even says that? Like, you know what I mean? At the time, I'm like, that is not, who says that with like a straight face? Like it means something, you know? Like, oh, what, you're a real gamer? So you like, I don't know, live in your mom's basement and are a neckbeard? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was just very weird. And I was like, and you know, go to the whole thing of like, what's the definition of a real gamer? Is somebody who finishes games and that's it? Like, what, you know? And it was a whole thing. Anyway, it felt like that. I was like reliving old trauma and getting new trauma. I was like, why are you being so mean to me about this? Like, I don't, I'm not like, it's one of those things like people sometimes get weird about the things that they love. And if you don't imply that you love them just as much, it's like, you hate it. And I know he was, he was just joking, but like, it got to that point where I was like, I actually was like, okay, like, let's just, let's chill. And I was like, I, I can't tell if you're being serious and taking actual offense or if you're, um, like actually, like if you're like actually hating on me for loving a different video game, just because it's not like you know, the combat isn't like top tier or whatever, but like the story I find is much more meaningful and I connect to the lore a lot more. Like, I don't know, it was a whole thing. And they were like, oh, okay, sorry. Like all three of them were like, oh, okay, sorry. But it was just the one guy who was like, like, oh my bad. I didn't mean for it to sound like that. And I was like, okay. <laughs> anyway, I've been ranting a lot and I've probably edited out some of it, but not a lot. I am nervous to start the game and I am worried that I'm gonna like air quotes mess up but like you just gotta play it to the best of your abilities and that's why this let's play is scuffed because I, it's not like a normal person where like I continuously improve at the game because I have so many like times where I'm not playing it I'm, I'm gonna forget all the combat stuff and I'm gonna forget all the lore so if you're still here with me after all this time, I appreciate you, and I'm scared, so... <laughs> I do need to find, investigate the suspicious toys, refugees. So we should find, like, a refugee camp. We were in here, this guy left, I remember. Or I think he did, his, his dad told him to. Um, he was a servant in the house, and I was trying to find more clues. Let's circus. See what this does. The circus of the last days what? has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown Ugh. back with a new act. The Circus of Last Days, that sounds really terrifying. I have, I was, oh, blood. Where'd the blood come from? I have seen some things that apparently a circus gets involved in the game somehow. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but, refugees. These boots Where have seen everything. Where are the refugees who? It's the last thing you have. Though. There's so many. There's so many things. There's so many things going on, and I'm like, look, look. I'm getting distracted. The Rivington General. What's up? Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. I feel like I got thrown into the Witcher yes, 3. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm definitely getting Witcher 3 vibes. Oh my gosh, Gale looks so good in this. <gasps> 
he li- oh, also, I haven't forgotten. I am trying to also uh, romance <laughs> Austin <laughs> with Carlyle. <laughs> not necessarily, not with necessarily, but Carlyle apparently does allow you to romance <laughs> Austin if you're romancing her. We'll see if that's the case. Um, how will you know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? What? Uh, uh, I kill how I please and as I please. My weapon answers to no one else. What an edgy edgelord. Uh... Wow. See, the game is, like, inclined to make you a terrible person. Like, look, out of these top four, three of them are bad. Like, why does... This is the one thing I don't understand that Larian did is, like, they, they, they don't seem to fully understand that, like, I don't want to be a bad person in my video game. I want everyone to like me, and I want to do... I want to be happy, and I want everyone to be happy, and I want to just do good things and make the world a better place, even if I have to deal with hard decisions and blah, blah, blah. But, like, I wish I had more dialogue options that were, you know, humorous or, y you know, nice. And not just, like, a total square, like, 100%, but give me other options for being a square. <laughs> um, quickly and efficiently, I don't want anyone to suffer. Come, we're all friends here. No need I to just... pretend you don't like to twist the knife. No, I really don't. I'm a paladin. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Sorrow. To kill the service of my oath is my duty. Dude, my duty. <laughs> uh, a deep sadness. I take no enjoyment in it. You deny yourself the sweetest you're, pleasures. You're leading questions, well, my guy. that can change, given the right service. Also, I thought you were doing a catered service. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon no! on those No! Yes, I, I can't say that. I just slapped myself in the mouth because I definitely did kill Shadow Heart. I definitely... Uh, <laughs> this game is so neat. Also, this guy's like, I have a catered service and blah, blah, blah. And I will figure out the weapon you need uh, just for you. Um, but then he's like, are you sure you don't want to become a monster? I'm like, listen, I'm already a monster enough. Thank you. I killed a gnome in cold blood, knowing that he was eventually going to become a terrorist. I didn't take any pleasure out of it. Perhaps, if there was no other option. There's a killer inside you. Right? <laughs> it wouldn't take much to push you over the I think edge. this guy has a fetish. Uh... Um, excuse me? What? 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 So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the this was through. This just a guy! <laughs> Have you come begging, sniffing for our What? <laughs> Gordash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. I'm... Oh. You could kill, kill him. Kill Gordfish? Let him close and make him feel the tickle of your blade between his ribs. You're, just, you're crazy. You're a crazy lady. When you find the Lordling... The Lordling! Tell him Oren is watching. You mean Gortash? Is she... Okay, listen. So Oren is a shapeshifter. How long I could have. This is my thing. Is like I could have walked right past this place and like not. You. In, what? Try what? To me when we back is and turn, you bloody coward. What? Oh, he must have. I didn't see him walk out. He just like the cutscene just happened, but he must have like walked out of his house. She must have knocked him out or something, which I'm very surprised about. I would have. I would have figured she just freaking would have killed him. Um. Apparently, he's still around. Uh, wild. Wild. No wonder he was like, come on, you know you wanted to kill people. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> that was crazy. I wonder if I hadn't run into him here, or like, if I hadn't come to this guy, if she would have been shapeshifted into somebody else. But, like, that, I could have just walked right past this and not encountered her. That's crazy. And I think she wants me to kill Gortash? She doesn't like him, I remember that much. 
Ah, you were attacked by a doppelganger. She was impersonating me? Oh, yeah, what in the nine hells are you talking about? Now you're acting innocent, are you? After you near came Did she bloody impersonate me? I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. You must have been attacked by my tits. She's a twitch. She's really horrible. Hmm. Ooh. I almost kind of want to do the medicine one. Hallucinations. Irrational anger is a symptoms of a serious head injury. Uh, you had a blow to the head. Are you sure you're remembering correctly? Persuasion is the safest. I don't want... Th oh, yeah. I'm going with the safest option. Jeez. No. You've got to be kidding me. I was close, though. Come on. Anything higher than a... Mm. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'm not reloading. A liar and we're just fuck. we're in it to win it. It's time someone beat some bloody respect. Are you team. looking at me in my like necromantic paladin armor? You and my squad. It's four v one. You are a blacksmith with a hammer, and I've got like a tiefling barbarian, a massive elf man, and like a very powerful wizard, obviously. And I'm covered in death armor, like. Guy. Guy. You would have been better off running to the constables or something. Okay, let's... It's gonna act like I killed him, but I'm gonna put on... For everyone. Sometimes the only way out is through. How many health? How many health do you have? Not much. I shall see you laid low. Wow, okay. <gasps> I could, you know, if you could just... <laughs> yeah. Minus 45. I don't, like, minus 45 what? With this guy? Also, he'll be dead later, but, um... Yep. I mean, re normally I would, like, reload because I would, like, I would like to be able to buy things from this guy, but alas, like, I'm no not in a... Yet. I'm not in a reloading mood anymore. Still breathing. It's been a long time. I've been breathing. playing this game a long time. One day I'll catch a break. I guess I can look at what he's got. Or no, not him. That's wild. I can't believe. Ooh, why is it glowing? Oh, don't mind me. At this point, I'm going. I'm like, I'm going full rogue, and I'm actually not. I just was a super big square that whole time. But I want to go see what's in your sneaky little basement because there's apparently a lot of terrible people. From the other side. Wonder where it leads. Oh, come on. There's a lot of terrible people apparently in this town. We will keep sneaky, terrible things in their basement. I wonder. Let the kid come. He wants to taste it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, good, we're teaching. We're teaching racism, not race, I don't know, intolerance, that's the word I'm looking for. We're teaching intolerance, love that for us. Uh, why can I come up here? Oh, gall. Is that a... Okay, well, time to go deal with this right now. I don't, I don't want to deal with this, this scares me. Um, this, though, this is something... Oh, a picture of Gortash. Look at that. Lord Enver Gortash, the people's. He man, looks. The gates protect. Like a villain, like just straight up. Okay, there. Let me. Let me. What is it? Quick save in this game. There we go. Where's it gonna stop? I don't know. Maybe when things aren't so bad. Never trust well. his friends. Let's go. Great. Another bloody outsider. You lot are coming out of the walls, aren't you? No, we're coming out of the woods, actually. I'm not supposed to talk to outsiders. It's a taught thing, intolerance. It's not inborn. But stick to the refugee camp outside. Ooh, wait. Where you belong. Let's see if, uh, would Gail have a the different response? Because he's human? Can I come on patrol with you later? Great. Nope. Another bloody outsider. Hmm. You lot are coming out of the walls, aren't you? I wonder you? if I had Will? If Will would make a difference? I doubt it, though. Still alive. I mean, he's Baldurian. So, so 
But, uh, and Gale's from Waterdeep, not Baldur's Gate. Carlax from... Carlax from Baldur's Gate, but I don't know how... But they, they're, what they're just doing, they're, off, they're just like, you know, humans, you know? Like, they're just humans being racist, probably, a lot. Any of the refugees give you... <gasps> come to us. We know her. No, I, she is Baldur... They, they somehow know that she's Baldurian. Oh my gosh. A Baldurian. Good. How do you know? Lots of unfamiliar faces in the city. How do you know? How do they know? <laughs> Nobody runs around with like a freaking like... I'm a Baldurian tattooed on their forehead. Okay. My raging rage against... I don't know. Separationists? Isolationists aside. Uh, wow, I look so spooky. Do what right? Blow them up? Like, what? They're people! Like, they're just people! Uh, but I think they said outside of town, right? Is where the refugee camp is. I haven't... explored everything. Wow, this is a big town, apparently. I'm not even actually in Baldur's Gate. Skyrim belongs to the Nords! I'm ignoring the circus because I'm scared. If you're after a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're here. I like your look. I haven't seen a ton of orcs around. No, I'm so scared of the circus stuff. I have something to ask. But you heard Baldur's Gate was safe, right? Well, it's a bloody lie. They've banned refugees from the city as if we're the problem. If you're looking to enter the city, hope your pockets are loaded. Bastards are charging a fortune. Okay, so we're not even in Baldur's Gate. Like, we're just in the city outside, which I knew, right? But, like, so they're, they're allowing refugees, like, in this outer city. Which, honestly, there is some sense in not letting everybody in at once. Like, there's just not enough room. There's not enough food. You know, like, gets to the point where you're like, I get it, but... Oh, that must, okay, so I'm like, this town must be huge, but this must be Baldur's Gate. Like, this, this must be the, the, the titular oh, gate. Uh, the what's going on over here? What? Don't wander around Rivington alone, all right? My husband did and got mugged and beaten for his trouble. Okay. Can I help you? Oh, bloody ribs. Sorry, mate. Had a run in with a mugger. If you need something, ask the missus. Well, they also, they look like fairly well to do. This whole situation stinks. Guild robbers are usually decent enough folk. They take oh. you home, but they leave your ribs intact. Yeah, well, this time they weren't free and polite. Interesting. And for what? You didn't even fight back. Dante, I tried. I tried. If you won't help us, at least let the children in. Is this a monastery? Scraps for days. This is a church, and they're not doing. They're not gonna let people like not let refugees in to feed them or anything. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. Mm, no. Uh. If you're looking for Ill Martyr's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us, like everyone else. Imagine if you were a cleric of Ill Martyr. I was gonna see if she had anything. Oh, we do we interpret blah 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 blah. Yeah, I figured this was the place where I took the you gotta take the amulet. Temple worship suspended until further notice. 
the faithful endure. Yeah, do they? All right, what's up? The crying one weeps today. Our father oh. Morgan is dead. Murder. Okay, well that okay that explains it a bit. People die every day. Um, I mean, I would probably close a church down at least for a bit if you're head of office or whatever. You know, even if it made it to the head of the whole church, like that'd be buck wild. That would that would that would constitute some closing down. But even if it's the local leader, like you know, you think probably things get closed down a bit. But we're also in a refugee crisis, and like you can't get so caught up in your own issues as like you know people who are supposed to be nice and giving and stuff and helpful. Uh, that you let all that go by the wayside. You could at least set something up outside, you know? Who that? The best of us. Yeah? I... I don't want to talk. Of course. My heart is in me. I just... I, I'm so often told to talk to somebody else and given very little information that it's at this point just... No, nothing. It's like, hmm, okay. Yeah, I guess. Ooh, holy water. What is... What? Is there a bit... I don't teach you how to pray, so don't teach me how to investigate. What is that? It's a little flight elephant with a little hat, a little pipe. Oh my gosh. It's a holy fan. It's a celestial. I have... What? <laughs> I've seen like... Fairy dragons in D and D, but I've never seen this. This is amazing! Oh my gosh, a celestial holly fant. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Can't believe anyone would murder Father Logan. There's enough blood to make a believer out of anyone. But your nature's grace, must you be so insensitive? Yeah. Anyway, there's like a bunch of books I'm not supposed to read over here. The Triad for Children. This is a newspaper. I mean, can I? I just want to read. Enough, Yanis. Ooh, calls to ban refugee help in Rivington. Refugee refu allegedly slaughters benevolent father. Of course, a refugee is blamed for all of this, and the refugees are probably being blamed for the increase in criminal activity. Fire Wild Circus appears in the middle of Rivington. Is that what that is? Then I'm definitely I will be going over there eventually, but you would not want to. Shunning, upper city closed off. Not a good look. Fist recruits, only you can protect Baldur's Gate. Armies of the Absolute, massing around Moonrise Towers. Newspapers are always good. Uh, a note. On matters of soup and starvation, is that what it says? Robert Logan, to restore your temple's most bountiful soup kitchen to our encampment. Oh, so they removed the soup kitchen even when Father Logan was alive. My precious baby who loved the aptly named meat slop you last served, even if other ungrateful souls here turn up their noses, I can only sacrifice my own meager rations in his name for so long. Fortuno dibs. Yeah, so people are hungry. This, and this is a steel wedge. I was like, oh, sick. But the steel watch is that, like... They were talking about that as like being controlled only by like the leader of Baldur's Gate or whatever. The age of the steel watch approaches. The immutable logic and impeccable judgment of complex machinery will pass law without fault, without hesitation. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> why must we risk the lives of those brave enough to accept the mantle of the city guard and the fray with common thugs? Moreover, why must we risk the liberty of citizens at the mercy of the vice and caprice of others who will take this mantle for ill? Worry no longer as the steel watch automatons take to the streets. Uh, yeah, no, that's definitely Bioshock stuff right there. Yeah. Where you're like, mm, machines can do it, and like modern stuff, where they're like, oh, AI will be the future, and I'm like, have you never, have you never seen, do you know what Skynet is? <laughs> like, you know, do you know what the Terminator is? <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> People. The light read for younger worshiper it was on the following day. On the first day, tears saw the world's injustice, so his eyes were blind. And the second day, Torma slain returned to serve the truth. On the third day, it'll matter work for all that came before and all that was to come. Well, that sounds rough. And when it said the triad, I was like, oh, so Ball and the other, uh, I don't remember the other two off the top of my head, but the gods of, like, death, murder, and strife. And I was like, uh, no, I don't think that's probably in an El Mater <laughs> temple. So this is maybe the other triad, the opposite one. 
<laughs> this is depressing also. <laughs> They're like, here, kids. Oh, you you contemplating ill matter, Halson? I got to go check, talk to the Holly fant. So Hang on, first I want to poke this plaque. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. Is that what they tell you? Oopsie. No, I just realized, though, my... I hope my laptop hasn't been making Enough too much of a noise. I don't teach you how to pray, so don't teach me how to invest. Hello, can I talk to you? Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are Look defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yannis. Oh, well, you're bad at this then. Man, I have believed in you. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. You look a little bit harassed. Um, straight up, that's always the way staged suicides look. Like, staged murder suicides look, you know? I mean, sometimes it is just a case-closed thing, but, like, you're telling me this guy didn't actually investigate further? Or maybe he did, and he has a really good reason for why he believes it this way. This person's just in denial. Uh, I don't imagine Elmater cares about your swearing. I suppose you're right. But the crying one has much more on his plate than curse words, given what just happened here. They're not paying attention. Um, what did happen here? Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor. The politically convenient. Oh, way. that's such a good way to put it. Like, legitimately. Uh, all right, you doubt her very. Oh, she's a woman. I, I could not tell. Um, uh, they're elephants. <laughs> How am I supposed to be able to tell? <laughs> but uh, the voice sounded more masculine. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to assume. So I was gonna go with they until I figured it out. Uh, you doubt her verdict? I will investigate. See where. The true blame falls. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. I'm a paladin, so any evidence I give should be okay. Any idea what I should be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Oh, are you serious? Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Oh, so you want me to do it your way. You want me to find evidence that supports your hypothesis, not the investigator's hypothesis. And while I am in your camp, and I do agree that this was probably a staged murder suicide with refugees as a politically convenient target, we have to try to be as unbiased as possible, I say, after thousands of rants. But, you know, here we are. Where can I find the investigator? Charesse's caress would be my best bet. That's a usual haunt after closing a case. Closing, air quotes. Um, anyway, I'm thrilled with a holly fan. The idea of a holly fan. And it's a celestial. It's amazing. I keep thinking, because this character is actually based off an idea for a fallen Ace character that I have. And so I keep thinking, ooh, I'm a celestial, but that is not the case. I am a drow. <laughs> and my Ace is back at camp. And my friend did get a mod that lets you be an Ace which the game wouldn't be able to recognize. So it doesn't really, not, I'm not interested in doing it. Um, but I do wish we could have had Ace from the start as an option. It would have been cool. But I think a lot of people would have picked it. <laughs> Can you tell me where to find Shira Clarwin? I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm She dead! Shira passed away last year. Peacefully, mind. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. Am I going to have to rise her, raise her? <laughs> I can't talk. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. All right, you bugged out. Cool beans. Sage, assistant to the extra planar agent. So, you know, you could have waited to tell me that if I'd actually started 
to do an assistant to the extra planar agent type thing, but you waited. I'm just calling myself an assistant to the extra planar, uh, whatever, at this point. So, that's hilarious. Uh, maybe I just gotta give him, give my, give the amulet to the remains of his, I think it was his niece? Well liked and well fortified. When did that happen? Also, look at all that health he has. Well, wizard, look at him go. He has as much health as the druid. I am doing something wrong with Halsin. How does Halsin and Gale have the same health points? Or are druids kind of squishy? I just think, I always think druids are buffer. They're like a mix between like a ranger and a barbarian to me. Like, you know, I just feel like they should be beefier. Uh, which is why Halston always fits the image really well for me. Um, and I think my health is not near. I have only 10 more health than the wizard. I'm doing something very wrong. <laughs> something very, very wrong. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm more of a, I guess, aggressive paladin than a defensive one. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. This episode's been going on for a while. But thank you all for joining me. It's nice to be back. Um... I'm a, again, I'm a little overwhelmed with the game because it's so big and I'm always like, oh, I want to catch everything. But like, you don't want to miss anything and it's like, oh, am I doing it in the right order? But that's not how things work. You just gotta, you just gotta vibe. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, anyway, after such a long break, um, I'm glad uh, for those of you who are watching that you're sticking with me. Um, it was actually really fun to have like a whole month of videos basically lined up. At the time, actually, I was hoping to have the Mass Effect videos come out every day, and uh, every other day rather, and they were going to like alternate between the Baldur's Gate videos. Um, but like I mentioned before, I did not have enough time. Um, to get all of them uploaded at my sister's place and my parents' internet is poo-poo, very crappy, and would not just would it uploaded the Baldur's Gate videos it absolutely would not upload them all the Mass Effect videos for some reason um took only like four hours when I got to my sister's place to do it so that's been nice to have those but um anyway just getting chatty so it was nice to, nice to talk to you all again so I hope you guys enjoyed the video really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.